Welcome to another cartridge comparison video. In this video, I'm excited because we're going to look at the 300 Norma Mag and we're going to compare it to the 300 Remington Ultra Mag. I'm going to look a little bit about its history, uh, the ballistics for each of them out to a thousand yards. If you like these kind of videos, please like and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's first look at the 300 Norma Mag. This cartridge is pretty new. It came out in 2012. Its parent case is the 338 Norma Mag. And uh, as you can see in the photo, uh, the dimensions, it's uh, almost the same length as a 30 6 case, obviously much wider of a case. In fact, it's wider than even the 300 Remington Ultra Mag at 0.588. And uh, the guns usually come in faster twists than one in 10. So it's meant to hold bigger bullets. Uh, the cartridge was adopted by Special Forces of the U.S. Military in 2016, and uh, I think it's starting to catch along as a hunting cartridge as well. Let's go ahead and look at the uh, reloading data for the 300 Norma Magnum. Uh, this is online through Norma's website, so everyone can access it. Uh, well, let's go ahead and look down at the 180 grain bullet. It's a popular hunting bullet. Uh, mid 3200 feet per second. So that's 300 Weatherby quick. So it's it's definitely fast Let's go to a little bit bigger bullets that I want to compare with the rum uh, With a 200 grain bullet you're getting 3100 a little bit more 3117 So really good speeds in 1999 Remington introduced their ultra magnum the 300 Remington ultra magnum and it truly is an ultra magnum. Remington introduced it to compete with the very popular 300 Win Mag and the 300 Weatherby. The 300 Remington Ultra Mag is faster than both of those. Let's see how it compares though to the 300 Norma Mag. When you're looking at the dimensions, the case width is not as wide. It's 0 0.550 while the 300 Norma was 0.585. Uh, but this one's quite a bit longer, uh, 2.850 inches long. And so let's go ahead and look at the velocities it produces. This is the Nosler website. Uh, let's go ahead and look at that 180 grain bullet first. Let me scroll down a bit. And the top speeds you're getting, let me get there, well over 3,300 feet per second. A lot of them in the 3200s, but max 3359. It's pretty good speeds. Now looking at the 200 grain bullet, let's see what it'll do. High 3100 feet per second. So this has roughly anywhere from 50 to 100 feet per second advantage over the uh, 300 Norma Mag. For this ballistics comparison, we are going to use the 200 grain AccuBond. It is a hunting bullet, so it's not specifically for just long range shooting, target shooting. Uh, it's more of a, a hybrid of long range hunting bullet. Anyway, so it has a BC of 0.588, which is pretty good. And a 300 Norma Mag will shoot at around 3,100 feet per second. Your energy is 4,268 foot pounds, which is a good amount. Recoil, uh, 33, so this thing's going to kick you. So, out to hunting distances, out to 400 yards, your feet per second is 20, almost 2,500 feet per second, and the energy is quite a bit, 2,700 foot-pounds. That's a lot. That's basically a 308 out of the muzzle. So, uh, the drop is 21 inches. And since both of these cartridges are also used for long range shooting, let's go ahead and see what it does out to a thousand yards. All right, out to a thousand yards, the bullet's still going almost 1700 feet per second. Um, energy, mid 1200 feet, foot pounds. And then the drop, uh, 244 inches. This, it's it's a really good long-range gun. Uh, in fact, that's what the military uses it for. So, really good. 
Let's now look at the 300 Remington Ultra Mag with that same 200 grain Acubon bullet. Uh, the velocity, uh, we're just going to put it at 3150. Um, the energy, 4400 foot pounds of energy. So about 150 more foot pounds of energy than the 300 Norma Mag. Out to hunting distances, you're getting 2,500 feet per second, and look at the energy, 2,800. And then the drop is just a little bit less because it is going a little bit quicker than the Norma Mag. Let's go ahead and look out to 1,000 yards because this is also a, a gun used for 1,000 yards and farther. Out to 1,000 yards, it's going 1,700 feet per second. And then the energy, 1300. And then just a little bit less drop than the Norma Mag, 235. So about nine inches less of drop. So not a huge difference out to a thousand yards, but a little bit. Now, if I had to pick between the two cartridges to get, I would probably pick the 300 Remington Ultra Mag. It has more selection of rifles. Uh, it's a little bit quicker. Yes, uh, the barrel life might be a little bit shorter, uh, but uh, ammo might be even a little cheaper and easier to find. But you really can't go wrong with both of these. Uh, both will be great hunting rifles for you and long distance rifles. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, have a great day.